I might have something good. Uh, it's, it's silver. I, I'm very sure about that. And uh, I think it's smaller than a dime. And uh, <laughs> Bill said it has a little hole in it. guys well today is a nice foggy potentially rainy day <laughs> but backcountry diggers and I are still going to get together and we're going to head out to that plantation site uh, it's a late 1700s plantation and uh, we have been pulling some really amazing relics and coins out of that ground so hopefully today is no different so here we go We got our group together and we walked to the location everybody wanted to hunt today. So we got Tracy, we got Gene right there, he's already digging a hole. And just past Gene is Bill. And the way the place that we decided to hunt, right there, Big Jack's house. Now we since learned that this house was from was built in the mid 1800s. So let's see if we can find any more relics and buttons and maybe coins. I just found something that looks like a spring. I'm pretty sure it is, but I have no idea what it's from. So I'm gonna take a look at Gene, who may have a better idea what it is than I do. Let's see what he says. Hey Gene. Any idea what that might be from? Yeah, I'm bothering him right right when he's digging a hole. It's a spring, but any idea where it might have come from? Antique slinky. Boy, well, you're the professional. <laughs> it's just a slinky. It's a slinky. <laughs> well, I got a faint signal. It was deep, and uh, I uh, cut the plug, pulled it out, and I have it somewhere in my plug. I haven't found it yet. But I whip my detector over it and it's a nice, crisp, clear, sharp signal and it seems small. I'm suspecting a button, I don't know. But I thought, well, this might be kind of cool to go ahead and, and uh, uh, extract it from the plug live. So let's see if we can do that. Now, uh, here. Mel detector said it's somewhere in here and I hear it what is that well that is something old it's a fire bullet this is an old fire bullet perfect mushroom that's kind of cool I just found something kind of interesting. Uh, it was a surface find. Uh, it had a hook on it and I saw the hook sticking out of the ground. Uh, at first I thought it was a blacksmith job, but I'm not so sure. Uh, I, it still could be. Uh, let me let you take a look at this. Right there. That hook was sticking out of the ground. It's a really cool piece, whatever it is. But it does have a threaded bolt there with a square nut on it. I mean, look at that. It looks like it could have been a blacksmith. I believe it probably was. I don't know what it is, though. It's cool. Well, let's keep going. I, I don't know. I'd love to know what that was. I find it very interesting. Bill caught up to me and he started showing me some of the things he found. I think one of my favorites is that. I love these range guides. And that is in very nice condition. Yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah, definitely. Got himself a clock part. 
And what did you say this probably I, was? Uh, it's either 1920 or 1930. Okay, well that's a weedy. 1920, 1930, something rather. It's coming out of the ground. Yeah. It's taking yeah. its time doing it though. <laughs> well, you know. What did you get, Tracy? I'm not sure. All right, let's, let's take a look at it. It's pretty thick though. <laughs> you you have a suspicion, don't you? Oh, wait. What in the... Ah. Uh, all right, that looks like a Lincoln right there. That looks like a Lincoln bust, but that is very thick. And I can't make anything out on that side. Whoa. All right, if we uh, try to clean it up and see if we can figure something out. All right. All right. What Tracy found were two wheat scents stuck together. We popped them apart. I don't know. Let, let's see if we can even get a date off of that, off of any of those. Uh, it's, it's hard to see, but this is... Uh, one, that was the inside of the two, and that is a 1920 wheat scent. The other one, I can't make the date out on. It's too far gone. But this is the inside, and you can only make out the one scent on it. But that was kind of cool. That was very odd. Very interesting. They're just perfectly stuck together. Cool. Yeah, I like that find. Uh, Tracy just showed me something else. This is something that Bill found and, and Tracy somehow got uh, got to carry it, but I guess because I'm the iron. Yeah, that that that's a hoe. I don't think that's a hoe. I think that's probably something to excavate dirt with. I mean, that's heavy. It does look like that is blacksmith made though. On the inside of that. Well, congratulations for getting to carry Bill's uh, find. Yeah. <laughs> right over there is Big Jack's house. And right here, this is the first one of these I found out here. It's an old mason jars lid with a porcelain. It's in bad shape, but uh, I thought I had a button or something. It's a shame. Well, unfortunately, I don't think that is old enough or big enough to be considered a buck and ball. That more than likely is more modern buckshot from a shotgun shell. This is what the backcountry diggers refer to as hoodoo. Hoodoo is anything that you have to dig a hole for that keeps you from digging a hole for the old stuff. The 1800s, the 1700s stuff. That's what hoodoo is. Hoodoo. Hoodoo, Tracy. Hoodoo. That almost had me going. I thought that was a uh, buck and ball. I think that is some more of that uh, modern shotgun. It hit something like a double up buck shot or something. That, that thing, that thing looks like it might be a little bigger though. More hoodoo. Oh, that ain't hoodoo. Well, it might be. Interesting. More interesting than mine. Tracy is up here, up there. He, uh, him and I are in a place here. It's a clearing, but this is some place we have not been to before on this property. And it's a high point in the property. It's probably the highest point here. I would imagine something would have been built here, so we'll find out. I just dug a piece of lead. It's an old bullet of some sort. Nothing really spectacular, but it is old, so that's promising. Chase and I are about ready to leave that high area. You can kind of see that it kind of has a nice 
height there. It was very quiet. Nothing was built up here like I would have considered there would have been. I would have thought there would have been. But uh, there are also some of these stony areas here. This being such a high place, I'm kind of keeping my eyes open for Indian arrowheads and artifacts, and I'm not even finding those. Any luck? I saw you dug at least one hole. Yeah, I couldn't find it, so it must have been couldn't find really it. small. That's the worst kind of hoodoo. Yeah. I found something uh, that is interesting. I, I, I hesitate to say what I think it might be, uh, but uh, it rang up high, and what I pulled out I thought was a piece of aluminum. Uh, I thought it was like a big pull tab thing. And it was folded in half, and I unfolded it. I think I have a spoon bowl, and the way it felt when it bent, I, I think it might be silver. What do you think? I think so. I think it might be a silver spoon bowl. Uh, it might be worth checking out. So look at this. It's got a little weight to it, too. It does have weight. I think that's what it is. We're going to have to find out. I checked the hole and there's no more to it. This would have come down or this would have come around more, but I think it was a flattened out spoon bowl and I think it might be silver. We're going to have to test that. So I'm letting Tracy uh, take that with him. He actually has a tester and uh, he's, going to, he's going to test that and uh, he's going to let us know what that is. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, no problem. Bill's right there. Him and I are still out here. Uh, Tracy, Gene, they went home. They got a long ride ahead of them. Uh, we're going to hunt up on this hill for a little bit. We've been moving around everywhere. A lot of different places on this property a day. Um, don't have too much to show for it. But uh, I just... I just dug myself a weedy in pretty nice shape. It's a 1940. Yeah, there's no doubt in what that is. It's very clear. But uh, we're actually hoping, we we're talking, we're hoping to get some buttons up in there, some old flap buttons or something. So we'll give it a little bit longer. We'll see what happens. I might have something good uh it's it's silver I, i'm very sure about that and uh i think it's smaller than a dime and uh <laughs> bill said it has a little hole in it uh we're going to clean this up i can't see any details i, I didn't even see the hole but uh we're going to get this cleaned up and we're going to see what this is i'm excited it, this is going to be a first i found i've never found anything smaller than a dime this is it Look at that. Yep, go ahead. Where do you see a hole at? Right here. Oh, it does have I a see the thing. one dime game. Is that There's one dime game? Dime? I have never dug a barber or a seeded. Not in its natural habitat. Alright, well, let's it's pop. Either, I think it might be a half dime. I think it's a half dime. This is small. All right, I'm popping that. You got any more of that? I got some water then. Man, there's not much detail on it. We're going Standing. To... Is what? <laughs> nice job, Bill. <laughs> he blew oh, it. <laughs> They're so small, Bill went to blow some water off. And a blue hole up. We don't know. Oh, he found it. Okay. I'm going to take his backpack off here. It's a half dime. Is it a half dime? Half dime. That is a definite first. Seated Liberty half dime. 
the seat. Oh, I can't believe 18, that. 1853. 1853. The date's right there on the bottom. That, it, now I got Mike. it. Awesome. Congratulations. That is amazing. Ah, uh, yeah, that's. All right, I'm gonna have to get some pictures. Half done. Nice. Never in my life have I done one of those. Now you have. Now I have. I'm glad I was here to help you enjoy it. Uh, thank you very much. I'm sorry, I dropped myself. <laughs> oh, I dropped myself. <laughs> 1853, half dime. With a hole. That is a huge bucket lister. I never would have thought I would find one of those. I, I don't know how to react. It's the oldest coin I've ever found, too. That's incredible to me. Look at that sky behind me, guys. Our time here is limited. But Bill uh, informs me that he found something pretty cool. So we're going to check it out. Tiny little button. Looks like I have something on it, but that's what you're after. That's all I wanted. I'm starting to feel some sprinkling. Yeah, I'm headed to the car. All right. Well, I got a signal over here. I'm going to try to dig. Uh, I'm thinking it's a button, but we'll see. So hopefully, I can get dug before that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Before that gets us. Well guys, that rain stopped us. We literally dug until we started getting wet. Uh, Bill and I, we, we stayed. The other two guys, they had to take off. Bill and I, we, we hung around. He said, I, I just want to find a flat button. So, he did. <laughs> he found that uh, really neat little cuff button with a shank. And then I pulled that half dime out. I, I never expected that. Actually, you never do, do you? You, you just don't know when it's going to happen until it happens. So as a seat of liberty, uh, you might say, I got sat down in a big way with that little coin. Amazing. I can't believe that. We had a lot of fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, we'll catch you later. Bye.